Hello everybody, welcome back to Tropical Update number 41 on Sphere Tropical Storm Henri making landfall near Block Island, Rhode Island as we speak. Henri is going to move inland over western Massachusetts later today as a tropical storm weakened to a depression by tomorrow morning over Vermont, New Hampshire, and from there uh, continue to weaken and then eventually dissipate as it rockets away from uh, the Americas. As it stands right now, tropical storm warnings remain in effect from East Rockaway Inlet on the south coast of Long Island all the way over to Chatham, Massachusetts. Tropical storm force winds also possible inland uh, into Massachusetts uh, proper. So uh, as far as Boston certainly could be experiencing tropical storm force winds. Let's take a look at the latest satellite image of uh, Henri. Henri as we can see, making decent progress on its movement inland. Now, again, winds now only 60 miles an hour, uh, but still a, a decent storm nonetheless, and lots of heavy rain falling with it as well. Storm surge warnings also remain in effect. Next partial advisory from the Hurricane Center will be at 2 Eastern. Next full advisory at 5. As we can see here, tropical storm force winds uh, again, uh, the the highest probability there in purple going out red to yellow. Again, those yellow areas is probably where I would say you have a decent chance of receiving tropical storm force winds before Henri ends up weakening significantly. Rainfall is a big concern with this as well. As we can see, the uh, tri-state area of New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania could potentially see the brunt of it, Connecticut, Long Island, and western Massachusetts all seeing large amounts of rainfall from this storm. Three to six isolated now up to 12 inches uh, for all of these areas listed uh, above. So that's kind of our threats right now. As well as storm surge, storm surge will begin to subside here soon. Uh, but as we speak, storm surge warning remains in effect from Mastic Beach on the south coast of Long Island, all the way over to Chatham, Massachusetts, including all the bays, sounds, islands in between. Um, so that's kind of how that stands right now. One to two feet still possible from Chatham, Massachusetts, northward to the Merrimack River, including Cape Cod Bay, and from East Rockaway Inlet over to Mastic Beach on the south coast of Long Island. Uh, again, that's going to begin to subside as Henri weakens and moves inland. Again, it's moving inland, weakening, becoming non-tropical, and rocketing away from the United States, as we can see. Uh, Henri will begin to lose strength very, very quickly as it already has um, later uh, today. This is going to be the last update on Henri because uh, it'll become an inland threat and we don't have many other storms ongoing at the moment. Of course, stay tuned to your local weather service, National Hurricane Center Weather Prediction Center, wherever you get to for weather information on Henri. We're still looking at a few more storms. Again, there's that wave off the coast of Africa, about a 10% chance of formation within the next five days. Uh, there's also another tropical wave behind that in the Gulf of Mexico in about five to eight days from now. And then as we begin to move in uh, to September, probably the first week, second week in September, the signal's looking pretty decent for uh, tropical activity in the Atlantic as we hit the peak of hurricane season around that time. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for today. Again, this is last update on Henri, so we'll go on a hiatus until we have another interesting tropical cyclone or potential tropical cyclone to talk about. That's all for now. Chris Sixon and for their Catholic Media.